After weeks of getting a lot of attention, the military tank parked in River Oaks is on the move. It wasn't exactly the Battle of the Bulge, but there was a big fight over it. Here's Melissa Correa. When you drive down River Oaks Boulevard and you see a tank, you tend to want to pull over and see why it's there. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. I feel like a little tiny peon relative to uh, the size of that tank. The only thing bigger than an M4 Sherman tank it smells of diesel fumes is the production required to get it off this corner. It's a little bit unusual. It's been fun seeing it and seeing people come and take a look at it. A lot of looky loos over the last few weeks along with the request from the HOA to move that tank. Apparently parking tickets too from HPD. But Tony Busby, an attorney who lives in that mansion, paid nearly 600 grand for this piece of World War II history. And with a color printer. He has a quote from the legal statutes telling them that it's actually not a large vehicle and he's allowed to keep it outside of his house. In a classic attorney move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and with love, Busby kindly told people to buzz off. But wait. A P.S. That's the best of all. Busby decided to move the tank today, not because of controversy, but because he wants the 32 tonner at his East Texas ranch just in time for hunting season. This is awesome. Lisandro Roman. Who gets to, the, to drive a second World War tank in the middle of River Oaks? He's a military veteran, tank driving rookie who served with Busby decades ago. This fully functioning tank landed in Normandy, helped free Paris, and ended up in Berlin. And it will soon crush junked cars at Busby's Ranch. Yeah, we'll miss it. <laughs> Standing for Houston, Melissa Correa, KHOU 11 News.